all praise. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father, amen. It is the 6th of June, 2022. It's about 6 o'clock, East Coast Fallen World Time. How are you? I'm saved, I hope. We're talking about bearing fruit. What is the fruit? Jesus says, bear fruit. I am the vine, you are the branches. Bear fruit. Abide in me, and my if you abide in me, and my words abide in you. John 15, 7. Ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Well, what are the things we're asking for? We'll see. Uh, verse 16, John 15. You did not choose me, but I chose you. To do what? And appointed you. To do what? That you'd go and bear fruit. What kind of fruit? And that your fruit would remain. What does that mean? So that whatever you ask in the, of the Father in my name, he may give to you. What are the things we're going to be asking for? What's the fruit? More questions. Let's go to Matthew 28. And Jesus came up and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Yeah, so, so I delegate that authority to you. In my name. Go, therefore, in my name, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Pay attention. We're going to talk about bearing fruit, right? Teaching them to observe all that I command you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Good thing. So we just read John 15, 7, and 16. Matthew 28, the Great Commission. Bear fruit. So if you're going to bear fruit, if you're a branch in the vine of Jesus, what is the fruit? Probably the same fruit he bore. Are you not? Matthew 10, 7. This is how you bear fruit. As you go preach... Telling them to repent, stop sinning, turn, turn to God, turn to me, trust in me, trust in Jesus, that is. As you go, preach, saying, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. Exactly the same thing Jesus did. If you're a branch in the vine bearing fruit, the same fruit that he bore, and if you're doing all that he taught us, if you're everything he commanded them, we are commanded to do. What did he command them to do? With my, my delegated authority. Tell them to repent. The kingdom of God is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. This says freely you receive, freely give. If you're not in the right, under the right teaching, then you didn't freely receive. How are you going to freely give? If you didn't get water immersion baptized, knowing that the there's three divine persons in their names, whole, complete, unique, divine persons individuals God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit get water immersion baptized in their name repenting of your sins confessing your sins getting deliverance ministry one third of what we read about Jesus doing in the New Testament was in this thing it was a, a demon deliverance how much more do we need it now but you don't have the power of the Holy Spirit and then uh, once you get deliverance and we're going to speak healing into you. We're going to command it. We've got a new Adam, so we have control and command command and control over all the world now and all the flesh in it. So we're supposed to take authority, enforce the victory of the cross, enforce the victory of the cross, and 
come against the enemy, Satan and his demons, and the witches and the witchcraft and the dark agents. For this reason the Son of God was manifest, to undo the works of the devil. Sickness, illness, disease, torment, addictions, depression, anxiety, fear, doubt, false gospels, another Jesus demon. We're, come, we're to fight against that. Fight. Tell people to repent. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You can see the problem. If you got another Jesus in a different spirit, in another gospel, different gospel, that would be a real problem, wouldn't it? Because you're not saved. You're not under the blood. And get the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And receive, seek after the baptism of the Holy Spirit. How are you going to walk in a fallen world? without the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit living in you. How are you going to do that? What if they don't teach you Holy Spirit baptism and demon deliverance and healing? What if they don't share that with you? The truth, the, who the Son sets free is free indeed, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, or where the Lord the Spirit is, there is freedom. Be blessed in the hearing.